Hello everybody, welcome to the Able Farmer channel. I'm glad you're here today. Uh, I got some pretty cool things to show you. Uh, for one, our dog had puppies, and I'm going to show you guys that here at the end of the video, but we got a couple jobs to do here. Um, I know, uh, I know that it is the last week of January, but you could tell there are signs that spring is coming, and here's one of them. The turkeys are starting to get fired up. And another thing, all of a sudden, all my chickens started laying eggs again. Well, maybe not all of them, but I'm getting about seven eggs a day, where I was getting zero, and it was like a light switch. Uh, I do know the days are getting longer now. Uh, however, it seems like it's very slow. There's something going on that is making these guys feel like spring is coming. Uh, we got a long way to go. It's still cold, and uh, it's only January, but uh, I'm excited. So. Anyway, what are we going to do today? Well, we got a minor thing that we need to address with the peacock. Well, you see, there's a problem right there. I have my peacock is loose, and my peahen is in here. See her right there? And there he is. And they keep escaping. And it's not a super big deal, but I just get a little concerned that a predator could get a hold of them. Uh, something like that. Also, they tend to like to roost on my gate, which is not where I want them to roost. You see, I built this building. I built this building here for them to house in at night. You know, sheltered from the elements and out of the rain, out of the snow, and out of the wind. And they are roosting right here. You can see all the droppings down there from where they're roosting. So what are we going to do today? I'm going to catch them and we're going to clip their wings. And that should prevent them from getting out of this pen. But they should still be able to hop up onto those roosts and be able to roost inside. Uh, there's one problem with clipping their wings and that is catching them. Now a peacock or a peafowl, their natural habitat I believe is in India, correct me if I'm wrong. Uh, so their natural predators in nature are tigers. So, unfortunate for them, I think I'm quicker than a tiger. So, I gotta go get a hold of them. And this very well could be interesting. Now, I do have a plan. I am going to try to trap them because they do want their feed right now. I'm going to try to trap them in the building and see if I can get a hold of them. And uh, this, I have no idea how this is going to go. So let's go ahead and give it a shot. Alright guys, you ready to try this? I got a, a scoop of feed here. I'm just going to throw it in here and uh, hopefully that will kind of corner them in here where I get a hold of them. Uh, I'm gonna try to catch a female first because she's actually in here. I gotta run the male back in, but he's hungry too, so he should come in. So I'm just gonna take this feed, throw it in here like that. She's over here eating, and now I gotta try to get a hold of her. Now remember, like a tiger. Like a tiger. Oh. Oh, I've got her. Oh, I've got her. I. Whoa. 
she ain't happy about it. I hate to clip them, but it's for your own good. Just hate for you to get eaten by a raccoon. Oh, man, two people would be nice. <laughs> There we go. This does not hurt them. But it will prevent. It will prevent them from flying. Looks like I gotta do one at a time. I'm sorry, girl. I don't want to. But I don't want to lose you. Don't come back. I just want you to stay in. That way, you can roost under this nice shelter I built and not get eaten. <laughs> All right. Now, oh, she is not happy. Now, man, it hurt. Got me in the hand. Uh, now I'm gonna try to get the mail. So we're gonna put her down. There you go. Ooh. Okay, 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 okay. Okay. Ah. Alright, I'm gonna go get the mail. There you go, buddy. Okay. We got him in. Alright, so, same drill. I'm gonna catch him. All right, new thing of feed. Oh, look at there, guys. Now wish me luck. Arr, tiger. Isn't he beautiful? Oh, he's getting. I hope that shows up on her. Man, his feathers are gorgeous. And I hate to cut your wing. I really do. Ah, uh, I really do. Try to show you. Man, they got little spurs on them too. I never realized. You see little hints of green in the tail. We ought to be getting a, a we ought to be getting a fan this spring. He will be two years old here in May. He was born on May fourth. Um, you guys remember that video? Uh, I'll link it there. Might be a little weird. The music's not on it no more because apparently they decided to copyright that music. It wasn't at the time. But now if I can get this wing out, it's pretty. I'm so sorry. I hate to do this, but I hope that I'm saving you and I know you're meant to fly and you fly really good but I want you to stay in the pen and you can see yes flying is their defense mechanism but I was able to catch him if I could catch him I'm sure a fox could catch him oh you don't like it he, this isn't hurting him, he's just mad because I caught him. Ouch. Man, them spurs are sharp. Gosh. Man, I hope he didn't poop on me. I smell something. 
And you guys might not know this, but I would argue there's nothing worse than peacock poop. It smells horrendous. Alright, I'm sorry I had to do that, buddy. But I need to keep you guys in. And, yikes! Get my scissors in my pocket. Okay, now we're gonna let them go. And I can't wait until we see that train. Let's see if we can get it. There he is. I did say they were from India. Well, that's probably right. These are India blue peafowl, so I'd imagine that means India. So we're gonna let them go. Ready? Ah, <laughs> do it. He pooed me. That is disgusting. Hands on my pants. And it's on my coat. Ugh, it stinks. So, mission accomplished though. Uh, we got the pee foul. We got their wings clipped. I know, uh, I was torn on it too. That's why I waited so long to do it. But I just, I, I want them to use this. I'll show you this ladder in here real quick. What I want them to use. Alright. You see here, I got these roost, this roosting ladder. There's four rungs, and uh, even with the wings like that, they, they can hop on up on there and get up off the ground. So, that's what I want them to use. So, guys, uh, like I said in the beginning of the video, I'm going to take you in and show you the new puppies. Um, I'm going to go finish, I'm going to finish this all out here, get my hands washed, and uh, I'm going to continue this video here in just a second. And uh, you guys could check out the little babies. All right, so see you just in uh, really just a second here. Look what we got here. We got little baby poodle puppies. You see here, we actually got 11 of them. Uh, I'm gonna show them to you here real quick. But this is real exciting. They are 12 days old, and they are just beautiful. And uh, yeah, I'm gonna show you a few of them and. Um, let you guys see him. Come here. Look her. There we go. There's Mama. This is Coco. She's a good girl. Yep, she protects her babies. And like I said, we have 11 of these. We've got little party poodles. Little chocolate collared ones. And brindles. And let's see. And actually three of these guys have found homes already. And uh, and they're actually going out of state, most of them. Well, two of the three is going out of state. Um, so yeah, we're real excited. It's been, we've been busy because we've been bottle feeding them because we have such a large litter that um, that we need to help mama out because it's hard for her to feed 11 babies. So, uh, but yeah, that's that's what we've been busy. Uh, every four hours we've been feeding them with the bottle and mama's been feeding them and um, doing really good. Yes. You guys do know that a true man's dog is a poodle, right? Yes, it's true. It's true. All right, we're gonna feed your babies, okay? Alright guys, that's the video. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you could, please like and subscribe. And if by chance anybody's interested in a little poodle puppy, I'm going to link my website down in the description below. Uh, and check it out. So, uh, I thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Goodbye.